So once you have done a rapid induction with your hypnotherapy client, what do you do with them? Do you just go straight into therapy? Probably not, because with rapid inductions, you tend to need to deepen that state of hypnosis before you move on so that they are at an appropriate level for you to do some work with them. Um, we just filmed another video on the eight word hand drop induction. So Kate is kind of half in and half out of hypnosis already. So sleep, you can relax even deeper now. That's right. So a really good way of deepening the state of hypnosis is something known as rocking. So rocking involves literally rocking the person from side to side. So what you do is you take your hand and you place it on their shoulder. That's the shoulder. That is not the shoulder, so be aware of where you're putting your hand. So place your hand on the shoulder. You don't need to grab it, you just need to place it there. So place your hand on the shoulder and suggest, as you rock now from right to left, you can allow yourself to relax even deeper. That's right, remaining comfortable and balanced. As you rock from right to left, going even deeper into hypnosis. With every rock, allowing you to breathe, allowing you to focus on the sound of my voice. Feeling so comfortably relaxed now rocking and you can go on now drifting deeper into that wonderful state of hypnotic relaxation so one two three open your eyes <laughs> sorry to, to, to break you out of that so quickly how did that feel that is great it's nice isn't it and in comparison to a verbal deepener physical deepeners like rocking can feel very different for people because most hypnotherapists will talk somebody down into hypnosis. So, you know, relax all of your muscles or imagine walking through a forest and every step takes you deeper or I'm going to count down from 10 to 1 and each, you know, each number will take you deeper, that kind of thing. Whereas rocking and other physical deepeners, they feel so different because you're not used to being manipulated and moved by another person in that kind of way. How often does someone walk up to you and go, Hello, I'm just going to rock you from side. <laughs> it's kind of weird. However, it's like they're kind of taking control of the situation. And when you kind of go with it, it does feel very nice. I mean, you can sit here watching this now. I mean, sit up wherever you are and close your eyes and just gently rock yourself from side to side. And notice how relaxing it feels as you rock from right to left and left to right. And then, you know, open your eyes. <laughs> Imagine that happening, but someone else doing it for you. So you don't even have to do it, you put any effort in, and you just have the benefit of that wonderful rocking sensation. Um, with this one, it's very important that you rock the person, or rock your client gently. And you, like I said, you don't squeeze their shoulder. You don't need to. You can just lightly put your hand on this. You could do it with one finger if you needed to. See? Look, one finger. Really easy. Um, as well as that, notice that I'm not rocking Kate this far and then all the way back here because that's a bit disorienting. Um, so it is literally just a small rock, a couple of inches or a couple of centimeters even left and right, and at a relatively slow pace because this isn't very relaxing when you do it like really quick, right? It kind of has the opposite effect. <laughs> so um, with any kind of physical inductions, it can be worth getting consent to touch beforehand. You might say, during this hypnotherapy session, I'm gonna to touch you on your shoulder. Are you happy for that? That's fine. If they say no, then don't do the rocking deepener. Hey, Or you could do it and you could say, okay, now I'd like you to rock yourself from side to side. And as you do, you go even deeper. It's not quite as effective in my opinion, um, but it, it, it still works. But yeah, generally people are absolutely fine if you tell them beforehand that you're gonna to just touch their shoulder, it's part of the process, then they'll be happy to do that. If you have any questions or comments about the Rocking Deepener or anything else, you have any questions or you'd like to see us do a video about something else, feel free to comment below and we'll get back to you as soon as we possibly can. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching. Thanks for watching.